How's Mac here and welcome to another set of course at Mod Showcase. Today I'm looking at the Formula Hybrid 2017 mod by Race Sim Studio. This mod was released last week and it isn't really based on any specific 2017 car and say in terms of looks it looks most similar to the Mercedes but obviously it's missing a few features. The barred boards, the CD boards are slightly different, the front wing is slightly different. The team have done their best to sort of get what a 2017 car in general sort of looks like. There is obviously the shark fin and they fit like the full 2017 specs. So the tyres are wider, the car is wider, there's also a lot more downforce to get DRS, you also get the full hybrid system. So in terms of a 2017 car, this is probably the best overall 2017 F1 mod you're probably going to find in any game. But the future scene right now is me driving around Catalonia. I did choose Catalonia since they were doing testing here a few days ago. I only got into like the low 1 minute 20s, although I didn't touch the setup and I was only running on soft. So probably a second or two to gain. In terms of the speed of the car, I do think it's fairly realistic in terms of actually being quick enough. The handling is pretty much nailed as well. I'll talk about the handling a little bit later, but the car isn't as easy to really drive as I thought it would be. There's a lot of power coming out of corners and the hybrid system is actually quite difficult to manage, especially if you're sort of racing around. You, you kind of forget about it, it's, it's in the background, but if you run out of battery power, you're basically screwed in terms of speed. There's a lot of downforce in high speed corners, but there's also a lot of understeer. The main problem I, I found with the car, there is a lot of understeer turning into a corner. It doesn't hook up as much as you want to, it sort of drifts out wide. Uh, it is very, very planted through high speed corners because of the downforce, but through low speed, medium speed corners, you can sort of get the back end out if you're not careful in the power. There is a lot of power in this car. There's, uh, I think, almost a thousand horsepower. There's about 160 horsepower with all the battery systems, things like that, the hybrid system. And you do actually have to manage the hybrid system, the batteries. Uh, that will run out if you're doing, I think, a race in like maybe five or six laps. And they do seem to have modeled the dirty air actually quite well. I was doing a few races and it was actually quite hard to overtake the AI in sort of high speed corners. I'd get into the AI slipstream behind them and it would just be basically a ton of dirt air. I'd get understeer, I'd go off the track, I'd get oversteer, it'd just be pretty difficult to actually overtake the, the cars in the corner. It's sort of what the dirt air is theorized to be like. It's gonna be quite bad this year obviously because there's more downforce, there's more weight coming off the cars. Uh, it's gonna be quite hard to sort of follow each other and they've tried to model that as best they can with this car. But overall in terms of handling, I pretty much think they've nailed it. I was comparing quick laps with sort of onboards from Raikkonen during the testing and it looked really, really similar actually in terms of understeer, what lines he's taking, things like that. In terms of the sound, I don't really think I can tell the sound from real life. I think they've pretty much perfected that too. I'm struggling to actually think of things with this mod that I didn't really like. To round up, I'd say this mod is pretty amazing considering it was only released last week. There's a lot of development that can go into this mod. The unfortunate thing is this mod is payware. I believe it's like five euros, four euros, something like that but it's more than worth it. I definitely recommend getting this mod. The amount of time they sort of put into it makes me glad I sort of paid for it because you can just see how much work they've actually put into it that like every aspect of the car is pretty much nailed. I do believe they'll make it free in the future once they sort of develop the car a little bit more once the actual season starts. So I can imagine a bunch of leagues will pop up with it driving this car which will be a lot of fun. I might actually do a set of course of league depending on how, how much I actually like this car and how much I'm playing this game in the future. And they are also planning on bringing this car to R Factor 2 in the future, which I'm actually looking forward to more than a set of Corsa. I don't rate a set of Corsa as a proper full on sim racing game. R Factor 2 is probably the best sim racing game around at the moment. I'm actually looking forward to when this car gets released on there because I will be driving the absolute shit out of it. But anyway, this has been the Formula Hybrid 2017 mod by Race Sim Studio. I'm gonna leave the sort of footage now just to sort of listen to the sound of it, look at the car going around. But anyway, this has been Mac here. Thanks for watching and I will speak later.